So Joe, what have you made of your time at Accrington so far? I've enjoyed it. Yeah, I've enjoyed playing, I've enjoyed being with the lads and uh, yeah, it's a really good club so I've really enjoyed it. What do you feel like you've learned? Because obviously you've, you've played for QPR, yeah. but this is regular first team football in League Two. What have you learned? Uh, the main thing is how to look after myself. I think like I've, obviously the games are coming really, really fast and it's about recovery more than even training. So it's, it's more, uh, I've, learned, I've learned that about myself and what I need to do to get myself up for games. What have you learned on the pitch? Um, wow, a lot of things. Um, trying to see out games, um, just winning games is the main thing at this level, obviously. Um, and yeah, I think that's the main thing, is trying to win games and doing what's best for the team. How have you settled up north? Because you've had to make yeah. a major life change, really, haven't you? Yeah, really well, actually. Um, a lot of the lads live in Man well, I'm living in Manchester now, so a lot of the lads live there, and I've I've, I've settled in pretty well. I think um, I've got a nice place, and yeah, I'm enjoying it. Does it help? There's a couple of lone, you know, like Brad and yeah. you know, a couple of Lewis, a couple of lone people having lone spells as well. It does help. Yeah, it does help because obviously we can do stuff together. Obviously, everyone up, some people don't have families up here, so we've got to stick together and do things together. So yeah, it's nice. It's nice to have that. Saying that, how hard was Christmas then, not being able to go home and see no, your family? No, my, my family came, um, that was nice, so thanks thanks for them. But um, yeah, we had a nice time at mine, but it was, a, it was a different Christmas for sure, being in training and stuff like that. It was, a, it was an experience, but it was, it was good. Is it hard? Uh, it's like a learning curve for you coming out here, but three points are just so important in this league in every game. Mm. Is, it, is it a mixture for you of, you know, you've got to get three points while you're learning on the job? Yeah, of course. Like, at the end of the day, the main thing is three points. Um, I want to do the best for the team and I want to get in the playoffs and get promoted. So, I, you know, that's the main thing as well as learning, as well as doing what I can for myself. But the main thing is for the team. So. And when you look at the league table, I guess Accrington just needs some consistency at the moment. It's win one, lose one, draw one, isn't it? That, yeah. That's the, that's what's keeping Accrington just out of the playoffs at the moment. Yeah, and obviously that maybe comes with experience as well. Um, we are a very young team, of course, we, but everyone here is very good players and we're more than capable of beating anyone in this league. So when we find some consistency, I think we'll be right up there. And Barrow is obviously a massive game for the fans, being one of our local rivals. I don't know if you know all this history. No, yeah, yeah. Obviously, they're 13 games unbeaten in the league at the moment, going really well. How much are you are anticipating that game tomorrow night? Yeah, well, we'll go into it with no fear, of course. Like We think we can beat anyone. I think we're unlucky not to win on Saturday, um, Saturday Tuesday. Um, but yeah, we'll go into it with no no other way than we would do with anybody else. So we'll, we'll go into it with full, full power and give it a good go. Do you carry any hangover from losing that last minute goal at Harrogate or does John Coleman and the management get you quickly over that? Yeah, they're good at that. Um, we've got to forget about it, do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not something we can think about anymore. We've just got to get on with it and get on to Friday because like, like I said, the games are coming thick and fast. We've got another one Friday, Monday, so we just got to focus on the next game. Are you enjoying playing so many games in a short period of time? Yeah, I mean, I you're only young, so you'll be all right. Yeah, no, I am. I prefer it, you know, I, everyone plays to play matches so I prefer to train them do you know what I mean <laughs> and obviously the situation's changed at QPR there's a different manager yeah. How, do, do they keep in touch with you or yeah you... yeah yeah they uh, you know the, the staff keep in touch with me on a regular basis which is nice um and they're keeping track of how it's going and whatever but yeah my main focus at the moment is obviously Atkinson and I want to do well up here